What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal. We're hopping back onto that rank double ladder. But ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another amazing team to show off for you guys today. Today we have ourselves a Life Orb Rayquaza team alongside with a Pixelate Sylveon squad. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across this channel. We are so close to 8,000 subscribers and I really cannot thank you guys enough. But like I've been saying in the past videos, I've been checking my analytics and about 60% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So if that is one of you guys, make sure you support me by scrolling down a little bit and just clicking that subscribe button. Seriously, that's all it takes. Just, just a little scroll down and a little tap of the button. It makes life easier for you guys and it shows me that you guys are enjoying the videos and it supports me as a content creator. But getting started in that top left corner, we got our Restricted Mon, which is going to be Rayquaza. I only showed him off two times in the past and I feel like he's a really dope Pokemon and a lot of you guys like him. He has that airlock ability for weather control, the life form for more damage. Dragon and flying, and then we got Hurricane, Flamethrower, Earth Power, and Protect. One thing I would change here is give him a Dragon move. It's an attack drop when he Dynamax, and it's stab damage for this guy right here. So that's probably one thing I would change on the team. Right next to him, we have Regilecki. I feel like I've been using him a lot. He's just so good in the meta and so viable on every single team. He just works all around. He has a transistor ability, the Focus Sash item, and then the moveset of Protect, Electro Web, Volt Switch, and Thunderbolt. It's a fairly normal moveset that everybody's been using. Middle left, we have Rillaboom, Grassy Surge, and Choice Band. I love Choice Band Rillaboom. It just hits harder and does so much more work. We have Grassy Glide, U-Turn, Wood Hammer, and Knock Off Take Off items. Middle right is a Pokemon who I really, really love, but I haven't used him in a while. That is going to be Sylveon over here. Pixelate ability, so all of his normal moves turn into uh, Fairy moves, and then Throat Spray items. So once we use Hyper Voice or any move that uh, uses voice, we get a plus one special attack boost, so that's going to be big. We got Hyper Voice, Protect, Mystical Fire for special attack drops, and Helping Hand to help ally Pokemon do more damage. Bottom left corner is going to be another heavy hitter that is going to be Kartana with a beast boost ability and that Assault Fest we can eat up special attacking shots. Leaf Blade, Sacred Sword, Aerial Ace, and Smart Strike. All attacking moves to coverage and to stab. Then our final Pokemon is going to be Incineroar, a great support mod with that Intimidate. The Eye Pop of Barry to give it more HP and then the move set of Fake Out, Flare Blitz, Snarl, and Parting Shot. Guys, you want to try out the scene for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to that ranked double ladder and try to get a winning record with this Rayquaza and Sylveon team. Getting started here, ladies and gentlemen, you guys know we got to get started with question of the day, and that is what is your guys' favorite meal, whether it be breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and give me a food item that you guys absolutely love in that category. I'll get us started. For me, I'm a big breakfast guy. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. Cannot go without it, and my favorite food of all time, I wouldn't say all time, it's definitely top three. It's up there. That is waffles or pancakes. They're just phenomenal. I, I see them as both the same. Waffle or pancakes, definitely top tier in my book. And breakfast is my favorite meal. So definitely let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to see what kind of food you guys like and what kind of meals you guys do enjoy. But first battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team. This guy also has Celestia, Stockataka, Celestia, or not Celestia, a Cresselia. And then Azumarill and Indeedee. Definitely Trick Room. Definitely got to watch out for Trick Room. Um, how should I get after this? I could go Incineroar. He has that Trick Room, which is kind of annoying. I don't know how I should do this one. Let's go Rayquaza and get one with that. Could be a play. Could just start pestering around here. I got Snarls and stuff. I could go into an Intimidate. I could go Sylveon. Sylveon could be decent here. Kind of do dig the Sylveon. I could go Rillaboom. Definitely want to bring Rayquaza. But it just depends who I want to lead here. I could go Regilecki. Regilecki's not bad, but I think I'd rather go Sylveon, uh, Rayquaza, and maybe Kartana in the back. Yeah, I'm digging Kartana. I am digging Kartana here. That's one thing with this team. Is this Trick Room is going to be a pain. This Trick Room is going to be a little pain to put up with. But hopefully we can roll out here and do a bunch of work up against it. Oh, yo, look at this dude's trainer card. It has the Cramorant machine. <laughs> and everyone's always telling me, yo, Gene, change up your trainer card. It's not happening. We're sticking with that. Ever since I started doing Pokemon Sword and Shield videos when I had like 500 subscribers, everyone's like, Jeans, come on, man. It's time to change your thing. So it's just been like a running joke. So if anybody's been watching my channel for a long time, you guys know that we're keeping this trainer card. That goes with the Calyrex and the Indeedee. Okay. Um, I cannot fake out. So no fake outs coming out from us. Um, I might just want a parting shot here. What does Jeans want to do here? This jeans want to do. We cannot fake out. Intimidates can come out here, do nothing because he, both these Pokemon are special attacking. Would have been nice to lead that Regilecki. Get that speed drop and roll from here. Would have been wonderful. Um, actually, let's just snarl. Let's just snarl here. Drop a hyper voice or I can protect this turn. Which I probably am going to do. Because I don't see him Dynamaxing. But I think protect is just a safe move here. And here goes the helping hand. So I'm just going to protect my Sylveon. Hopefully I can get off this Snarl and roll from here. 
see what happens here. Here goes my protect. And hopefully rock up with the snarl and then unprotect and go for hyper voice. Here goes to Astro Barrage. Block. And Stone Oreo, say that's a tasty snack. You still have your Papa Berry. You're eating up, buddy. All day. All day long. All day long. Yeah, that a boy. That a boy. Not very effective. He eats up. Snarl comes out here. We get that special shock attack drop, which is huge. And that does a lot of damage over onto that, uh... Over onto that, uh, Calyrex, which is dope. Okay. So now we're sitting here. We got that attack drop all day. And I might parting shot out at this point. I could always parting shot out. That is a possibility. Into, like, Rayquaza. Hmm. I could do this. And just Hyper Voice. I feel like Hyper Voice should be able to take out, uh... Calyrex, no problem. So I'm actually just going to, uh... Parting shot over onto the Indie slot. And I think I'm just going to Hyper Voice here. Take out Calyrex, get out a different Pokemon, and have my Intimidate for the back end. He's going to withdraw the Calyrex, so that's, that's actually a decent turn here. Actually a decent turn. He's going to bring out Azumarill. Azumarill. Checks can come out from you, but we're still going to get that special attack boost from our Sylveon for that Hyper Voice, which is, which is pretty dope. And then I can just get out Kartana instead, which is pretty dope. Oh no, I don't swap now. I do not swap now, which stinks. Here goes my Hyper Voice. Procken. Bang it, man. We don't swap anymore. Parting shots gonna get blocked. You should still swap back. I feel like that should be a thing. You should bounce off that protection wall from there. Um, I think I try to get a parting shot off on you. And I might protect my Sylveon on this turn. Actually, I think we just drop another Hyper Voice. I think that's the play. I think Azumarill might just go after my Ndidi. Well, not my Ndidi. Azumarill might go after my Incineroar, so we can roll off from there. I feel like in this game they have to change up this this battle arena. You know? I feel like it's just been the same since season one. Like, change it up. Make it different or throw out, like, a bunch of different ones that you can rock out into and have some fun. I think that could be so cool. But it's just, it, it's legit been the same one since season one, since I started playing this game. All right, so he's Dynamaxing. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. It's going to be a Zoomerel, and it has that, uh, what, what's that ability? It makes it hit a lot harder. Oh, we're going for the Cyber Voice here. There's a Zoomerel. That's totally fine. I got to get Cartana out here. And Cartana might be my Dynamax mod. That might be play. You might not want to Dynamax your closet here. Oh, that's pretty fast too, which is really nice. Here goes to follow me. That's totally fine. Um, does the Zoomer all go last? That's my real question. Her voice comes out here. Doing some nice damage. Can I get this parting shot off? Parting shot does come out here first. Now the real question is, I think he's going for a water move. Now if he goes for a water move. We're just going to Rayquaza. I don't really see him going into a fairy move, right? Hmm. I feel like whoever I swap into, I'm just going to swap back. But I feel like he's going to go into a water move, right? Or maybe he's predicting my parting shot coming out here. I feel like uh, Kartana is just a safe play to go into. Water or fairy move coming in here. Kartana safe play. Actually, out speed. I might swap back into Instant War just for that attack drop. We'll see what happens. He goes for a Knuckle. Okay. So it was going after my Instant War with the Knuckle. That's totally fine. And that's going to do some damage over on Kartana. And I feel like I have to stay in with Kartana now. Instead of swap. I feel like Hyper Voice has to come through here. What do I do? Hyper Voice 100% has to come through here. And I think I just swap Kartana back. So I can see another follow me coming out here. Actually, no, because Kartana's going to go first. Yeah, so I'm just going to swap instead of we're back in. And I'm just going to uh, Hyper Voice around. It's going to be play. That's going to be play. Because Kartana's rather fast, so I'd rather have it in the back end. And we still have Dynamax. So I'll save my Dynamax for my Rayquaza. Because Rayquaza's pretty fast. We get that Intimidate, which is going to be nice up against this Azumarill. Drop it back down to even. And we're going to get rolling here. Hopefully that Surge ends soon, so I can pick out next turn. Follow me, going to come out here again. Yeah, I see you. Hyper Voice should be able to pick up the KO there and do a little bit of damage on the Azumarill slot. Let's do it. Yep, there's the KO. And got this thing down to yellow. But I think Gold Azumarill is one of the toughest looking shines. It looks so dope. He's going to drop another Max Knuckle. That's totally fine. You can take me out now. Okay, so now we're out. He doesn't have Follow Me Mon. Now I get back out my uh, my Kartana. I can drop a Hyper Voice here. And I can drop a Leaf Blade, which will definitely pick up the KO. Alright, so I dig it. Who might he get out here? Artana should be faster than uh, Calyrex, right? 177? I think it should be. I think it should be. 
This thing's boosting up. I think Calyrex might come back out here. It's a good battle. It's a really good battle. Check. I maybe should have gotten out a uh, Rayquaza. Let's just see. It goes to Calyrex. That's totally fine. And here goes out my Cartana once again. All right. I'm digging this one. As one comes out, two abilities. I think a Leaf Blade has to slide over here. Or do I read the Max Guard? I feel like a Hyper Voice still takes takes this thing out. So let's rock it out. Let's go for it. We're plus one. We're doing some big damage. And that thing is a lightweight. Let's see what happens here. Let's see it protect. This thing just outspeeds. Wow. This thing just outspeeds completely. This thing's so fast. Artana goes down. Ooh, that's rough news. I'm so fine with this. As long as this Hyper Voice gets off and takes out this Calyrex, I feel like we're thriving here. Right? I feel like we're thriving. Take him out. Yes, we take out the Calyrex. We are sitting pretty well. We still have our... Uh, well, our Sylveon's going to go down here, which is totally fine. He's going to start fall, and my Rayquaza is going to get out of here, and I still have Dynamax. And we don't need that at 1-up. Okay. So, Azumarill, obviously the big threat. Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. I was going to say, ooh, the, uh, the Surge coming out of here, but that only halves Dragon moves, and we have no Dragon moves. So, I feel like we're thriving here. I wonder who his last Mon is. I feel like we haven't... Yeah, no, we haven't seen it yet. I'm going to get out Rayquaza. His Dynamax turns are over. I'm going to Dynamax my boy here. And his final mod is going to be Celeste Steel. Who might just leech seed on me, but I do have Flare as coverage. I do dig. Airlocks can come out here. The effects on weather disappeared. And Azumarill is going to drop down. Alright, Azumarill, you got to go. That's a fact. That is a fact. You have to go 100%. I would love the Flare, but... Uh, is, this, is Celeste Steel a special or physical? That's Air Slash. And air Slash is physical, I believe. Hmm. Air Slash might be special. I, I forget, but... I think I just Airstream. Even though we don't need a speed. But it's Stab, so in case this thing protects, we can probably KO through it. I'm just going to do that. Keep going with that. I can see uh, Celestial either protecting or Leech Seeding. Something along those lines. But Azumarill is the big threat. He's a big threat. He's got to go. That thing has huge power ability. I don't just want to hit me with a play rough and just put me out of my misery. That'd be dirty. That'd be dirty. Because we know he's rocking with it. Here goes my Dynamax. Let's get my HP up and get boosts near. This is a solid first battle. Solid first battle we're rolling into. We've been playing really well on the rank ladder as recently. Been winning a good amount. We went 2-1, two, two and one, I think, in our past three to four battles or videos. So your boy's been on this game. He's been on this game. But let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Aqua Jess can come through here. Smart play by him. Do a little bit of damage before he does go out. We're just going to be able to take it out, and I can flare next turn and flare the next turn after that. So I can get a super effective damage hit, and I can get the weather, and then do it again. To get all that boost. There's my speed, even though I didn't need it. Let's just see what Celestial does. Is it going to seed me with the leeches? Oh, no. Hey! Hey! Oh, no. Yo, I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan of this. Oh, it's not Power Herb. It is not Power Herb. Do I just guard? I mean, it's not stab. I see us eating this one up. I see us eating it up. Unless it's, if it's policy, we lost here. But there's no way, right? Okay, Rayquaza just dumps on it. Get out of my face, yo. I think this that was just a last-ditch effort. I was like, dude, this thing's power herb. You're going to drop a meteor beam on me? Chill on me. But we maxed flare. Pick up that KO and get a win in battle number one. Let's get it. I think it's time to go back to back. We're sitting here in battle number two. Got a win in our first one. We're going up against a Kyogre team. And this guy also has Volcarona. I've been seeing this Pokemon a little bit more in the meta as of recently. So that's pretty cool. I always like to see new Pokemon. He also has the Grimmsnarl to probably set up screens. Probably not a G-Max one. You see them every here and there. But I'm guessing this one's a screens one. He also has Glacier, Porygon 2, who annoys me. I don't know why that Pokemon just annoys me a lot. And Metagross, who's really, really good. He's really, really strong all around. All around. I think I have to lead the Rayquaza. For the airlock, so all the effects on the weather go away. Or I can just lead the Rillaboom. I can lead the Rillaboom. Rillaboom could be pretty solid here. Hmm. This clear body. Uh, do I lead the Rillaboom or do I bring him in the back end? I think I actually am going to lead the Regilecki. I bring Sylv. Sylveon could be decent, but then he has that, uh... There's that Metagross who kind of annoys me. I don't want to go here. Where's Jeans want to go here? 
Who do I want to go here? I think I'm going to go Cartana, and I think I'm going to go Incineroar. I think these guys are going to be the group. I think this is the group. Of course, I didn't hit OK. I didn't notice the time. Please give me the group of people. That should be a thing. If you click on them and like place them in first, second, third, or fourth, that should be your team. Even if you have like two, even if I say I place Rayquaza and Regilecki in my first two, they should be guaranteed in my first two. So hopefully we got the squad we're looking for. If not, we're going to have to roll out and try to make something happen without them. Let's see. He goes Porygon 2 and Volcarona. Okay, I see you. And we're going to get off with Regilecki and Rayquaza. So it did give us our first two. Let's see. Did they update that? There's my air lock. We're locking air. Porygon 2 is downloading, doing his stuff and things. Um, let's see. Let's get a Pokemon. And I didn't bring Rillaboom, and I didn't bring Sylvia. <laughs> and it brought two Pokemon that I wanted, and the other two that I didn't. Okay. We'll make things work. We'll make things work here. Um, I could drop a Hurricane and hope this hits. I think I am going to do that. And my Volt Switch. Or I might E-Web just in case. Or I'm thinking of Volt Switching. So I can get out someone else, but probably gonna trick him, right? I'm gonna e-web just in case uh what's called a sash. Volcarona. Because I can see it being sash. Let's just see what happens here. Hopefully this uh okay, so we're just gonna rage power, which is totally fine. Hopefully this hurricane hits. Hope it connects. E-web's gonna drop through. And he's definitely getting off the trick room. And hurricane connect. Need you here, buddy. Need you here, Hurricane. Hurricane. It connects. Thank the Lord. Volcarona is gone. Get it out of my face. So we went for a high risk, high reward play. And it came out in our favor. He's going to be able to set up a Trick Room, though. And get out a Pokemon of his choice. Ooh, Trick Room. Probably Glacier is coming out here. And that's kind of scaring me. Not even going to lie. That's kind of scaring me. Why well, I wish I had the Incineroar. Because he's just going to kill somebody. And Chilling Nade boost. Keep going for that. I think I have to protect. Yep, there's the Glace. This one's going to be a doozy, guys. I think we got this one in the L category already. <laughs> but we're going to rock out here. Uh, good Dynamax. Good Flamethrower. Um, I don't think Dynamax is in the play here. Yeah, just protect. Let the thing go for his Hailstorm. Still have a Sash on this thing. I think I just go for the Paralyze. In all honesty, I just go for the Paralyze on the Glade. See if I can waste out turns for Dynamax. This one's going to be a tough one. This one is really going to be tough. I don't have my Kartana, which I really don't like. I wanted my Kartana and, and, and Incineroar, because Kartana would be my other Pokemon I would like to Dynamax. But I can't Dynamax my Rayquaza. It's going to have to be uh, either Rillaboom or Sylveon. We'll, we'll make that decision in a little bit. I do have a Mystical Fire. I do have a Fire Coverage move. But this is tough. This is going to be real tough. It is Protect. Bang. I'm going to be able to waste out a turn here. Hopefully we can get this power here. Power could be nice. Just for an Ice Beam over onto Regilecki, which is totally fine. Regilecki's going to be able to eat that. What you mean? Yo, you really got a freeze? All my Pokemon thaw out in one turn. Watch. Uh, every time I get a freeze, my Pokemon will thaw out in one turn. And that still takes me out. This thing is ridiculous. He, that is ridiculous, man. Watch. Regilecki won't thaw out or anything. That is nuts. That is really crazy. Thing hit through my protect and KO'd me. God dang. Orb comes out here. And I'm frozen solid. I think hail does help out that, but still. Come on, man. Come on. Alright. Sylvan's gonna be our Dynamax mom, but I'm gonna try to waste out turns. Match is pretty much a wrap. It's pretty much a wrap. I told you, the scene doesn't thrive well in the trick rooms. Guys okay, gonna come out here. And what do I do here? What does Jeans do here? He's going to drop another ice on me. Get another Chili Nade boost. Hmm. I think I just glide over on the Who, though. Glacier? I think Glacier poses that bigger threat. I mean, we'll, t we'll try to thaw out and protect. We'll see. No, we're frozen solid. Look at that. Grace guy comes out here. Doing some damage, but not enough. Ice Beam's going to try to hit us again. Oh no, wow, he goes with this move. Oh no, I didn't protect. I didn't protect. I was gonna say, didn't I protect? No, I was frozen solid. I was a little confused there, but there goes Hailstorm. But like I said, dude, this match is a wrap. We're getting dumped on this match. I'ma still fight. I'ma still fight. This thing's chilling 8 plus 2. Oh, and he probably rocking Steel Spike. Oh no. Oh no. At least we didn't get swept here. At least we took out the Volcarona. 
We got two gets buffed by the hails. I am going to guard here. Imagine if I make this comeback, dude. I could clutch up. That could be nasty. <laughs> the best comeback ever. I cannot trigger my throat spray. It's just not happening. I have to guard here. We are going to guard. Max in the guard. He is plus two, man. That's tough news. Tough, tough news. And do I say he protects next turn? We make a hard read and get after that Porygon? Nah, I feel like Glacier has to go. In order for us to win this, he has to not protect him. We have to get after him. No, we get this. Imagine if we clutch this one up. I don't think it's happening. There's like a... Like a 0 0.0000000 half of one chance that we're going to clutch this one up. But if we do, we're going to go down in the Pokemon Hall of Fame. That's a fact. They better put my plaque up on the wall. All that stuff. Just a picture of me like this. <laughs> Doing some dumb face. <laughs> well, here goes my max guard. Ribbons are flaring. Every oh, dude, this one's over with. He has every impulse. He's going to drop my stats. He's just trying to drop my stats, dude. This one's over with. Should I just run? Of course, this thing's rocking eerie impulse. Dang it, dude. Dang it. We had an awesome first battle. The second battle, I, it was just tough. I knew it was coming, too. I was like, he's going to set up Trick Room. We don't really have anything to really go after this Trick Room with. He should have probably led Sylveon at that point. And went for the Hyper Voice to get the double-hitting move. And rolled out with someone else who has double-hitting moves. Maybe, like, Vigileki. That would be like our only, our only chance. But he's gonna eerie impulse me, which is gonna be tough news. Hopefully he doesn't. Hopefully he goes for like an ice beam. I don't know. And hopefully we can take out Glace and Wolfmere. But I'm pretty sure this one's just over with. I'm pretty sure he's just gonna eerie impulse and probably protect. But like I said, I need Glacier out of here if we're gonna do anything. We can't let it hit. There goes the eerie impulse. This player's gonna do absolutely nothing. We're probably gonna proc weakness policy here as well. He has high horsepower. Dang. And he gets a crit. <laughs> and he gets a crit. Just to rub it in my face, man. This dude's getting everything. Can we at least take this thing out? I don't think it's happening now that we're minus two. Not sad. Look how much he eats that up. That's just easy eats for him. I know this thing's life for it, but it's not policy. But we do change up the weather. Sylveon, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to run this one for you. You have no shot at win this one after that eerie impulse. That thing just dead. That, now it's over. If he didn't have it, there was a shot. Actually, probably not, considering how low... Glacier put us on. He dumped on us hard. That Glacier gets a crit. Puts us down to 86 health into the yellow. Really low yellow. We end up losing that one. But all around, decent battle. We're 1-1. We're one one. We can hop to our third and try to get that winning record for our fifth video in a row. Let's keep the winning record streak rolling here, guys. We're hopping into our third and final battle, going up against a Kyogre team. And I feel like this team is actually really, really strong. I feel like I've seen it on the meta and multiple people using it. It has the Rillaboom, the Incineroar, the Regilecki, the Kyogre for the rain, and that big damage. And then he has the Swift Swim Kingdra alongside with Libero Cinderace, who's an absolute powerhouse. Um, I think I have to start slowing down speed with Regilecki. Get that speed control rolling. Get after it that way. He can fake me out, which I don't like one bit. But in that case, I might just lead Incineroar. Or I gotta bring in Cinnamon in the back end. Um, or do I bring Rayquaza? Rayquaza can Dynamax here. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do? I, I kind of want that real boom. Might just lead that to get some, start getting some speed control here. Maybe Dynamax in you early. Let's go Incineroar. And I feel as real boom has to come in. Where do I go, Silv? I mean, that's not bad either. The one's pretty bulky. He's a, uh, I think we got Robin here. I think we get Robin buzzing out here. I'm kind of digging that. I'm kind of digging that. I think this is going to be a good battle here. As long as I can uh, control this weather, it will be nice. We have the airlock so we can uh, neglect some of uh, the effects from the weather. It's huge, so like no water boost. Oh, maybe Swift Swim won't, won't happen if airlock's on. That might be a thing. I do not know. I do not know. So let me know in the comment section down below if that's a thing. Let's see who he leads. He's going to lead... Incineroar and Kingdra. Okay, so he's going to be able to get off a fake out here. I think I still Dynamax all day. I wish I had my Dragon move because this would be money here. Airlock, the effects on weather disappear. Intimidate coming out here, doing nothing to both of us for special attacking. But dude, if I have my Dragon move, that's a free KO on the Kingdra. And we also get the what's it called. And we also get the attack drop. So e going to come out here because we're going to slow these boys down. I could drop an Earth Power. Could be play. As we slow down... 
I think he's just gonna fake out. Let's see what he does. I think I'm just gonna drop the Earth Power, get the special defense boost. He has the last special uh, defense Pokemon or special attacking Pokemon. I'm gonna get effort like this. We're gonna do a little bit of damage on this slot, and then I'll get effort to Kingdra. I don't see him swapping. I really don't see him swapping unless it's a parting shot. Let's see. And I think if airlock's working the way I think it does, because it always confuses me. If he gets out rain, he's not going to get that water damage boost. And he's not going to get that swift swing. That's what I'm thinking. But let me know in the comment section down below if I'm correct on that one. Because again, you guys know way more about this than I do. I'm just here playing casual, having fun. I do know a lot about it. Don't get me wrong. But you guys know, Jeans makes some mistakes right now. And he's just out here having some casual fun. But Rayquaza gets the Dynamax for his third and final battle. And we're going to get after Incineroar. Let's see what he does here. Take out my Rayquaza. Gonna Dynamax you. That could be a little tough here, but we should outspeed it and, and get that special defense boost, and we can slow that thing down. Maybe he guards. Maybe he guards. Let's see what happens here. Hopefully he guards. That could be pretty dope. Let's see what he does. I'm gonna fake out my Rayquaza slot, which is huge. So Reggie Lucky's still gonna get a turn. We're gonna slow down both of you guys, and we're gonna get off this Max Quake, which is dandy candy. And then we have to start getting after that uh that Kingdra. I don't like it one bit. Here goes my Quake. Again, that special defense boost, which I really, really enjoy. Bang. Did we pick up the KO? And we do. That is lovely. That is lovely. So we take out his Intimidate Mon. He's probably going to throw out Kyogre at this point, which I'm fine with. I really am fine with. But that special defense boost for one. And let's see what this Kingdra does. Is he going to go for that Worm one, Or are you going to guys and set the rain yourself? He's going to go for that Worm one over into my Rayquaza slot. And Rayquaza is going to be able to eat. Thank you. Special defense boost. He's going to get another attack drop, which does nothing for us. Which does nothing. Okay. So we're sitting here. Attack's getting dropped. I think whoever he brings out, I still E-Web to get that speed control down. But let's see. Is it going to be Kyogre? It's got to be Kyogre, right? Got to be the boy. It's going to be the boy. So how does my airlock work? How is that, how is that rolling now here? That's my question. I think I still e web here. And I think I just start airstreaming. Or do I change up weather? No, because if airlock's working away, I think it should. It should be fine. Let's see. Requaza. Airlock. Eliminates the effects on weather. Now, if I hit this info or the info button and click on this, airlock is out. So it's saying it's like there. Alright, let's roll. I'm gonna go for the airstream and I think I'm just gonna e-web and slow down. It's gonna be play. E-web comes out here. Maybe I should have went after the Kyogre. But we do some nice damage there. And I don't think Swift Swim is here. Even if it is, he's minus two. Kyogre's just outspeeding. Wow. Kyogre's just outspeeding me. Oh, that's a fast Kyogre, man. That's a real fast Kyogre. I'm not even gonna lie. That's a speedy Kyogre there. There's another worm one. That's gonna. Take it now with Sash. Wonderful. We're going to be out here for another turn. I can slow down again. That's a fast Kyogre. He's minus one. And he still has speed in my Rayquaza. That's, that's real fast. So I'm going to have to e web up again. Get that speed control. Bring out Rillaboom. Let's bring out Rillaboom here. And what is the play going to be here? I'm Choice Bandit. So I have to Choice Bandit into a move. Which is going to be Grassy Glide. I can go for a heavy wood hammer over onto that uh what's it called slot. But I still have the Cinnaroar. E Web's definitely in the play. We're gonna just go for a Thunderbolt here. And Grassy Guide onto you. Hmm. What's the what's the plan here? I know I outspeed at this point, so I'm going to actually drop a T-Bolt there, see if we can pick up the KO. I think I'm just going to go for a Wood Hammer into here. He's going to withdraw Kyogre. Ooh, I like that turn. I like that turn. We're not going into a Grassy Glide on that. I like that. So we're, we're going to be able to get off T-Bolt here, which is really nice. And we're choosing into a Wood Hammer, which is really dope. And we get big damage off on you. It's huge. And he's going to go for an Airstream. And that's probably going to KO me. Eat it. <clears throat> Show my for Grassy Glide. Should have went for the glide, man. 
Okay. But I still have instant ore. And I think I E web, slow down, take out Cinderace here. Oh, or is he rocking Sucker Punch? That thing rocking Sucker Punch, that could be a play. Could be rocking Sucker Punch. Actually, I'm going to fake him out. I'm going to fake him out, which I think a fake out. Won't fake out be able to pick up the KO? Let's see how much HP he's at. He has a lovely Intimidate. This one's going to be real close. I think I need a fake out an E-Web here. His Dynamax turns are over. Hmm. Big House not going to be able to pick up the KO. This is going to be so close. I'm still going to fake out here. I feel Because if he has Sucker Punch, that's just going to roll out after me. And I need my Regilek here. This is a really good battle. Fake out comes out. Bop. Does not pick up the KO. But the e is going to be able to come out here. Pick up the KO on him. Slow down that King Jump once again. And if Incineroar is able to eat here, which I don't think he will be able to because Aerolock's not here anymore. Or if this thing misses, you have a ch chance here. Hurricane comes through and he goes, ooh, smart play. Takes out me. Hey, you buttery biscuit. Oh, no. Okay, so there's his life orb damage and it gets HP back. Dang it, dude. I needed my Regilecki there. I needed my Regilecki. Oh, dude. Come on. Oh, what a grassy glide it. Oh, what a grassy glide on the Kingdra. We would have been thriving. Uh, I guess Snarl. <laughs> I guess Snarl. Is this a play? I guess it is because that might be able to take out the Kingdra. But Water Spouts is going to come out here. And we actually could eat that up, right? Yeah, we do. And I Papa Berry is going to come out here. Maybe Kingdra misses. Maybe. Just maybe. Maybe we could Snarl our way to victory. Let's see. Miss, miss, miss. Hydro Pump comes through. That's game. That's GG's. Rain Kyogre still overpowering everything. Really, really strong team here. But solid third and final battle. Went the distance. I feel like, again, if I would have made a different play with my Rillaboom, maybe Crash Guide into the uh, the Kingdra, we would have won that game. But all around solid battles. We go one and two, and our winning record streak ends. Dope set of battles that we recorded today. The first battle went our way. We dominated. Got to show off this team pretty well and got that victory. The second battle, really nothing we can do about it. Like I said, this team doesn't thrive well up against Trick Room teams. And that's exactly what happened in battle number two. We set the Trick Room and just went off with the Glacier. And then that third and final battle was really, really solid. Could have went either way, but we ended up losing that one and going one and two for today's video. So, but guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. If you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today. And above all else, have yourselves a wonderful day. Peace out, everybody.